Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to upgrade Mule Runtime Engine from one version to another version. So we are going to see if you want to update Mule 4.1 or 4.2 or 4.3 to 4.4, how you can achieve that. So before we move on, let me introduce myself and tell you the agenda. I am Mohammad Akib, working as a MuleSoft Certified Developer and Integration Architect. In this video, we will see MuleSoft Runtime Engine Upgrade, steps involved in upgrading the runtime. Also, we will follow these steps and do a hands-on demo. In the end, we will see overview of MuleSoft documentation regarding that MuleSoft Runtime Engine Upgrade. So here I have got my Anypoint platform account and I have set up a server, a standalone server with the version 4.3. And if I click this server, I have also got the application deployed just to tell in the end that how this works. So this version is 4.3 currently and we want to move on to 4.4. I have also written these steps already so that we can follow them and we don't get any misconceptions in between. I will also paste these steps in the description link below so that you don't have any confusions while you are watching the video or you are upgrading the runtime. So very first thing what we need to do is download the runtime engine version from customer portal that we want to upgrade to and extract it at the same time. So let me show you where I have got this version. So this is 4.3, which is currently working. If you see over here, the application, which is also deployed over there. Okay. And now we have got this 4.4.0 version that we need to extract first. So just right click and whatever the version, uh, whatever the uh, extracting software you have, you can just extract this. I will just say the extract here. So once this is extracted, now we have got 4.3, which is currently working and this is running currently and 4.4 where we need to move our mules of runtime engine. So let's see what is the second step. Now, if you have license, if your license customer should delete the existing mule license dot license key. Uh, file from config folder if it exists. So let's see in 4.4 where we want to move on if we have got any license key. So currently we don't have any license key right over there. So we can miss this step and we don't need to remove anything currently. Now the other step is that place the license file in bin directory. So currently I'm working in trial account. If you have your license, if your license customer you should have your license from MuleSoft. That license file would be license.lic and you need to paste this file. You need to just place this file in bin directory. In bin directory, what I mean is over here. And once you have put, you need to run this command mule.batch and install license license.like. Once you have go, uh, running, uh, you have run this uh, steps, you have run this command your license will be successfully installed okay now the other thing is let's copy now this is the main part let's copy these three files mule agent.yml mule agent jks mule ag, mule uh, i mean trust store jks and endpoint trust store jks either this will be the file name or this will be the file name okay so these three files we need to copy from previous version to newer version so let's see let's go to config of previous version so we have this any point trust store just we need to copy this this file and this file and just we can copy these files and place it to new version in config folder just paste control V okay now the other thing, copy wrapper.config file from previous version to new version if needed. If you have set up some memory related settings or any additional tags or any additional uh, 
additional wrapper wrapper settings in previous version over here in in this file wrapper.conf file so we can copy this file however we don't need it as of now if there are no settings if there are no memory related settings or any other settings which you have set up uh, for uh, runtime engine but if you have got any settings so you can just copy this file and place it to new version in config folder and just replace it with the existing one all right so we are done with this step uh, step number five now we need to copy the mule agent plugin folder from our runtime uh, server plugins to the same folder in new instance so let's see where uh, this resides this folder mule agent plugin so in 4.3 version server plugins so this we need to just copy and paste it to new version in server plugins over here okay so we are done with step number six now we need to shut down the previous mule instance so let's shut down this instance we can just click ctrl c okay yes so this has been shut down the server is shut down currently if we see here so just let me refresh yes this is disconnected so let's now uh, go back and what are the other steps now we need to run this command m setup dot batch and this happen you what it will do it will uh, just update the runtime manager agent to the newer one so we can just copy this command okay and we need to run this command to new instance new mule instance so let's just go to new mule instance and within the bin directory we can just run here the command line and just uh, pass this command and hit enter it is going to update the uh, mule runtime agent and there we go it has been updated and see the agent has been updated and blah blah the description as well all right we are done with this step as well now if we are <coughs> sorry if we are using uh, clusters so what we need to do that uh, we need to copy this cluster, mule cluster properties file so currently we are not using cluster let me show you where it would exist if it was so there would be a directory this one so currently there is no directory which means that we can ignore it but if this would be the directory you would go to the older version uh, which is mule uh, let me show you this 3 and uh, 4.3 and uh, mule so currently this is here but we don't see any mule uh, cluster properties over here so we can just ignore this if you see over here you can just copy that as well and uh, just come over there create a new folder if you see uh, something like this there uh, dot mule and you would paste that uh, cluster properties file here if you are working on clusters so currently we are not working on cluster we have just a standalone server we can just ignore this so let's start the instance and see what happens see let's see if that uh, runtime engine has been upgraded or not so okay so yeah we are over here in bin directory of 4.4 version so let's now start a mule dot bat start so let let me run that command mule dot bat install or we can even run a setup okay 
so let's see how it goes there you go we have upgraded the runtime from 4.3 to 4.4 pretty easily by following these steps all right let's see if that application exists which we had deployed previously yes the application also exists here and if we try to run it send okay the application is also in working state so this is what we have upgraded and this is how we have upgraded the runtime from 4.3 to 4.4 if you are migrating uh, or you are upgrading from 4.1 to 4.2 or 4.2 to 4.3 or 4 point some version to 4 point another version you can follow exactly the same steps and you will be able to upgrade your mule runtime engine pretty easily so now the last point of from our agenda was to see the mulesoft official documentation where they have mentioned these how you can upgrade mule runtime version from 4.x to 4.n so this is all uh, documentation which i took as a reference if you are having any confusions you can come over this documentation and see if you have got some differences or you have got some uh, confusions and if you have any confusions over here you can watch my video and i as i have just tried my best to keep it as simple as possible so this is how uh, i will share this link as well uh, in the description and these steps as well under the description of the video i hope that you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you never miss out such exciting videos in future as well until then stay tuned